Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Welcome to assignment number nine, a timeline using Microsoft Publisher. You can see on the screen a final product that we're going to create today. It's a company history of crystal pools. And there's about, what is there, 20 different items on here. Don't worry, we're going to show some shortcuts on how to make these items appear very quickly by copying and pasting using the grouping commands on Microsoft Publisher's draw tools. So I'm going to start a new document and then we'll get through these steps one by one. In Microsoft Publisher we'll start a new document. The first thing we have to do is decide which way we want to point our page. Let's do the landscape mode and I'm going to put a title in to begin with. So a text box is what we need at the title side of the page and I'm just going to call this the company history for crystal pools. Let's make the font bigger, so I'll highlight this line, change the size a bit, center it, and let's change to a different font. The next item is we're going to create a timeline. So let's go to the insert pictures, or the insert shapes I should say, and let's pick this item here called Freeform. Freeform allows us to create any shape we like. I'd like to make an S-curve starting here. Holding the shift key down I can create a perfectly straight line. I'm still holding the shift key down and I make my second click. Now I move down. Notice I'm creating a new line. Holding the shift key down again. Click. I'm going to return to this side holding the shift key click down with a shift key held down one more click and then far to the right I'm going to do one final click with the shift key down double click actually and I've created an s-curve now let's go and make this a little bit wider let's change the weight to about six and let's add some arrowheads let's go to the shape outline and go down to arrows and let's pick the arrowhead that looks like that one. It has a diamond on one end and an arrowhead on the other. Lastly, let's give it some color. I'll choose a red line. Now, what we want to create on this timeline are some landmark decisions or landmark events. So, let's go put some text boxes in. One text box right here on the line. And let's give it some fill color. So click on Format, Fill Shape, let's give it white. And for the outline, let's make the line a little bit heavier. And uh, let's center it. So Home and Center. Now let's put in the first date of importance to our company, 1982. And then another text box uh, right above it which will tell us what happened in 1982. In 1982 the company was founded. Let's center the text inside there. Okay, so now we have an event. We have the company founded in 1982. Perhaps bringing this down to touch. I'd like to create lots of events. So let's do this as, a, as rapid as we can, as quickly as we can. I'm going to select the text box that has 1982. 
and hold the shift key on my keyboard and select company founded. Now what I'd like to do is treat this as a group. Up here on the ribbon is a button called group. And now if I move one of these pieces, they both move together as if they were one piece on the drawing board. You can also copy these as one piece. So I'm going to right click on this, choose copy, right, and then right click again somewhere and choose paste. Let's line it up here. Change the date just by double clicking on 1982, changing it to 1985, and then erasing this text up here to create a new item. Second store opens. Now, I've got a piece of graphic in the computer's clipboard memory. I can just right click and paste it again. And you see how quickly this becomes how we can make more pieces on our timeline without having to do as much work. Let's say six new products launched. And let's go one more paste and line this one up. And let's see what the year is. We're up to 1990 and now the company makes one million dollars in annual sales. Right click again and paste and let's change this to 1996 and one more item 96 was the founder dad retires <clears throat> now you notice these items here are almost spaced evenly <clears throat> let's make sure that they are spaced evenly I want to select them all here's a nifty way to select a whole group clicking outside of all of the pieces I create a selection box around them they are all selected together. Now what I would like to do is arrange them so that they are aligned. Let's say we want to align them according to their middle. So now they're all the same height. And we also want to spread them evenly. Distribute horizontally. So now the space between all of them is the same. Now let's make a group of this. Now I have a larger piece that I can copy and paste and move into a, a second line. Let's change some dates here too. In 1999. Okay, I've created another line with events up to the year 2007. Let's add one more line. Remember in our memory on the clipboard we already have this group so I can just paste it again. Now I'm going to type a few more dates. Okay, now I have all three timelines, or all three parts of the timeline with items on them. Let's click all three of these. So I'm going to select the first list of items, hold the shift key down, select the second, and then the finally holding the shift key I select the third. I'd like to make sure that these are all arranged so that they are distributed, uh, so that they are aligned center. So now all the pieces align above each other. We just created a timeline with about 15 different pieces, 20, uh, 30 pieces actually, and using copy and paste and using grouping, we got it done very quickly. You're done. Go ahead and print. Tell us about your.